Okay, put it in reverse. Look, don't look at me. Look in your mirrors. No, slow. <laughs> She's gonna be our hot rod, I swear to God. Very slowly. Slowly. No, put your foot on the brake. Go, just leave your, here. Leave your foot on the brake and just lighten up on the brake and the car will start backing up by itself. Oh. Okay? Now, since you have a hard time doing it, right now, because you keep going now, Abby, turn the wheel a little bit to the left. To the left. That way. More. Keep going. Now, slowly back up. A little bit to the left. Keep turning to the left. Keep turning to the left. Turn the wheel more. I want you to move the car over to the middle of the garage. Left. Left. Turn the car left. Now come back up a little bit more. Okay, now stop. Now take and turn the wheel to the right. Turn it to the right. To the right. Remember where your brake is, right? Yeah, my foot's on it. Okay, now put the car gear shift all the way down to D. Do not push the brake. Now, you know you don't have to go fast, right? So keep your foot on the brake. So Slowly let off the brake and guide the car into the middle of the parking garage. Ah, That's okay. I don't myself. It's okay. Your foot's on the brake, right? Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Turn back to the left. There you go. Go. Back to the left. Turn it more. Don't be scared to turn it. Get her straight. Okay, stop. Now we're going to do this again. And we want to be straight, right in the middle. Look here. See how we're crooked? Yeah. We want to be straight, okay? That's okay. This is your first time ever driving a car. And we have it on film so all of YouTube can enjoy the experience. Say hi, YouTube. Hello. Hey, in the, in the, in the, in the, hey this is my first time driving. How you like it? Put it in reverse. Then go ahead and turn the wheel to the right. Because now we want, look here. We want the car to go like this, right? So you have to turn the wheels to the right so it'll straighten it out. Turn the wheels, turn the steering wheel to the right. More. You don't have to worry about changing lanes. Turn it. We want to go straight. Turn it more. Turn it more. Turn it more. Turn. Don't cross your arms. Don't cross your arms. There you go. Now, slowly back up. Wait, you have to You're right. You're, You're good. You're fine. You're good. Keep going. Go slow. That's okay. Keep going. Now I'll tell you when to straighten out. A little gas. A little, not not. Don't put it in the back neighbor's yard. There. Now straighten out the wheel. Other way. You want your wheels straight. So you had it turned to the right. So now you need to turn to the left, right? And you're almost straight. So now back up until I tell you to stop. Slowly. Slowly. <laughs> stop that. <laughs> Go. Keep going. I'm giving you backup experience here. Keep going. Look in your mirror. Keep. No, you're good. Back up. Okay, now put it in drive again. And now, turn your wheel real hard to the left in the beginning. Turn left, or turn right, I mean. Turn right. More. Okay. And then when I tell you to straighten out, drive straight toward mom, but don't flatten her, okay? Okay, I'll fly her, Go ahead. Now go straight toward mom. You're going to have to turn a little to the left. Go. Okay. And keep going. Till we want to be in the shade. And stop. Put it in gear, or put it in park parking brake you don't need to press that down when you pull it up pull it up and now hit the stop button hit the start button to turn the car off and now get out and you've managed to drive for the first time without destroying our car I didn't kill anyone. Yeah. <laughs> hey everybody this is Tesla for drop top tees you just got to see Abby's first adventure in a car ever um, just getting the car in position to do the video I really want to make. We just got our permanent tags today from Texas for Saxi. 
And so it's time to put on our Craven Speed Platypus front license plate holder so we don't have to drill holes in the grill to mount our front license plate since they're required in Texas. Now, it's a very simple thing, but because they've changed, this used to just be a hole right here, and it was pretty obvious what to do. Now they've changed the design a little bit. I figured I'd do a quick video and, and show you how to put this on. Most people know, some people may be a little bit confused. All you need for it, besides what they give you, For us, we're using a 732nd um, Allen wrench, and that's what we'll use to bolt the license plate down. A 15 millimeter socket, a 7.8 socket, ratchet. Optionally, you can use the tool they send with this. However, this will not tighten down the bolt you have to insert into the tow hook so you need the you need the 7 8 for that so let's see how this all works now I can use my allen wrenches to pop this out tow hook cover and then, can you look down in there, Abby? And see there's a bolt down in there. This is normally where you dip, screw in your tow hook. And you just take and hand tighten this at first. This will not recede all the way. It's going to stick out a little bit to get the right angle on the platypus once you put it on. So we're going to use the 7 8 ratchet. You're going to want to cinch this down pretty tight because you don't really want this coming loose while you're driving down the road. Okay. Now, to mount the platypus holder itself, we're going to use this bolt just screws it on the end of it. Now watch this. You can take this and just slide it on. You want it over here. Okay. And we're going to tighten this down. It's recessed a little bit because that will let the plate go on without bumping into the bolt. And again, we want this to stay tight, so we're going to cinch it down pretty good. You're going to put a little torque on it. That's all we have to do. Now here's the beauty of this. This is why you have this very thin. If you go to a car show, you have your plate here. You don't want to take your plate off in order to get to the bolt. You can just put this down behind here. It'll go on this bolt and you can loosen it and then just pull this off. You won't have to take your plate off the holder every time you want to take your front plate off. Like I said, a lot of people would do this at a car show. They'll pull this all the way off and um, put the cover back on it. But, um, keep this around because it may come in and I'll use an allen wrench for this because this, that's what these use and as you know I'm retired Air Force and our twins both went in the Air Force so Jennifer opted to go with a license, a custom license plate holder that says Air Force Wife, Air Force Mom. Here you 
get it lined up. There we go. So now we just tighten this down. And we are now legal in Texas. And because they sent us this nice little slim wrench, if we do want to take it off at the car shows we'll be going to over the rest of the summer, we just put this back here, loosen it up, take it off, put on the cover, and we're good to go for the car show. Very simple. There's other type of front license plate holders that do the same thing. The one we went with is the Craven Speed Platypus available through a lot of the aftermarket dealers or you can go to Craven Speed themselves. For drop top tees, this is Caslon and our newly driving Abigail. Thumbs up. Hit subscribe. And tune in because coming back from the freak out, we got several more videos we'll be doing over the next month or so.